Hi everybody, I'm making this video um, to show people how to extract files um, with RAW archive files and um, when you get about 70 files, mount the ISO image extract, install that for games and add cracks. The reason I'm making it is because I've read a lot of comments on um, some of the sites I download off and they're always asking where to crack, what do I do with all these files etc etc. So I'm making this video just to try and show people. Um, my, my way I do it. So let's get started. First you'll need some programs. I have a Power ISO or Magic ISO. You'll need um, a download program to download them. So I use BitComet but I mean there's Utorrent, um, Azorus, whatever you want to use uh, and WinRAR of course to extract your, your archives. So let's get started. Firstly um, if you get Magic ISO you're going to need Magic Disk as well which is free free program it's free. Get these off their websites if you just type them into Google and buy them, download them, or you can just go to BT Dunky or somewhere and download them off here and someone who got serial killer keys and or keygens or something. I mean just uh, be careful when you download and check comments, make sure they're safe, etc etc. Um, type them in top and just search them, download them, install them and then you're ready to go. But make sure you'll need magic disk with Magic ISO, you went with Power ISO, it already gives you um, a virtual drive. So there, look, which will come up automatically as you install it anyway. Um, same as Magic Disk, that'll be at bottom, they'll both be at bottom there every time you boot your computer upon boot up. Um, I took mine off start up, but right, let's get started anyway. First, you need to download your game or whatever it is you're downloading. D drive into the downloads. Right. Need to speed Pro Street here. I downloaded earlier today to show you on this tutorial. Right, basically you're gonna end up with all these files, finished downloads once they're finished. I don't know why they like that, why they come up blank, but they're still finished um, WinRAR files, they're, they're still finished. And what you want to do first is extract them. The way I do it, I mean you can either right click and extract files and choose a directory to extract them to but I like to keep them in the same place as archive keep the my, uh, extracted ISO into archive so all, you, all I do is right click and choose extract here yep extract here so hit that and that's now extracting I'm going to pause this video while that finishes because it's going to take too long right as you can see that's just finished extracting which is there, look, there's the ISO image there from all these files. So all I did is, again, right click, extract here. And that's it, it's extracted every one of them into one ISO image. Now you can delete all them files, you don't need them no more. So delete all them. All 50. There we go, we don't need them no more. Oops, and that one, sorry. Right, so now all we're left with is the ISO image and the NFO file. Now I'm going to come to NFO file now. Um, now, automatically when you download and you get an NFO file with, with the game you've downloaded, it'll be it'll look like a little computer screen. When you click into it, it'll bring up all your OS and your computer and everything like that. Now that's not what you want. So what you can do, you can right click it and open with notepad. Then it'll come up like this. Yeah, you can read it all. Unpack, burn, man, blah blah blah. You can um, that serials and stuff. I mean, shows you how to install and follow instructions. But what I do, um, I I've downloaded a tool called D A M N N F O Viewer. It's free. Just type it in Google D A M N N F O, and um, it'll come up and it's free. Now when I open it with that instead it'll cut like this you see so it's a lot it's a lot better it's all it's all um, it all comes up a lot better right now I'm going to leave this one alone for a bit because um, that's just basically just showing you how to extract and then you left with ISO double cl left click the ISO and it'll open up like this yep but now I'm going to show you on a different game that I've actually installed so now what you want to do um, go to your ISO image you've, um, you've downloaded, um, which is going to be in computer, H drive, 
my games. Right, just say Silent Hill 4, I've installed that. Right. So just like the last one, you're left with this, look. You're left with um, your NFO file. And you're left with your ISO image. If you double click it, it comes up like that, look, shows you everything in it. You don't have to worry about none of that at all for now. Um, what you want to do, you want to right click on either your Magic Disk Virtual Drive, your, um, the Magic Disk I told you to install with Magic ISO, or right click with Power ISO. Um, go to the top there, Mount Image to Drive. Like this, look. Go to Computer, the directory where the game is. Game, so it's Silent Hill 4. And click it, there's ISO image. Click that, open it. There. Alright, just wait a couple of seconds. See if it auto runs. It's there, look, it's mounted onto it. So just double click that, and there you go, look. Yep, yeah. and then you've got install. Yep. Yeah. Now that didn't auto run, so then all you do is click install. I've already installed it, so that's not highlighted on mine. So then just click install. I've just exited that off, right? But now I'm going to unmount that drive. Like that. Now I'm going to mount it with Magic Disk just to show you that. So up to the top, no media. Mount. Find it. Um, so computer. It's in that drive. Games. Satel 4. There. Open that, right, and that comes up like this. I mean, they do on Power ISO sometimes, or you have to go into Drive and click it. But, um, and there you go. So, click the auto run, and then that other page will come up, and then just run setup, follow instructions, install game. At the end of the installation, you're going to get, um, you probably get two options. You, you do on most games, um, saying view read me or run game now. Now, you don't want to run game now, so one tick them. So if you run game now, it's going to come up wrong, CD, etc, etc, and there'll be an error and it won't play. So because what you've got to do now is add the crack. Now to do that, go back to your games, the actual ISO image. So in my case, it's beside it, 04, there, right. There's the ISO image. Double click it, double left click, right, and then you've got a list of um, the, the CD or DVD or whatever. Right, now you'll have one called Crack, or someone might call Crack, I know Razor, say Razor, um, it's Razor folder, but what you do is I like the Crack, now this is open with Power ISO, I like the Crack, and choose Extract, yep, choose a directory to extract it, I want to extract it to um, Silent Hill, so I'm going to find Silent Hill, there, I like that folder and click OK and OK again. Now that's just extracted that to where my ISO, there's my ISO image where I'm out of. Now if I back out of that, there's the crack look, that's where I've just extracted it to. So I'm going to open the crack folder, don't do nothing with the crack, and I'm going to put that off to the side. <coughs> now I'm going to go to computer, C drive, program files, and I'm going to find Silent Hill in here. In program files, it's not going to be under Silent Hill 4, it's the room, it's going to be under the actual publisher and game, the people that made it, <coughs> which in this case is Konomi, or however you pronounce it. So click in there, there's Silent Hill 4. Right, now in here, I've got a file in here called Silent Hill 4, exactly the same as the crack file. It is absolutely the same. Now, you want to put the crack file the same place as the Silent Hill 4 one in the program files, the original one. So you can either just drag that in into a space and drag it in like that, or you can right click it, the crack, copy it and paste it straight into folder, like so. Now if you put it in the right place you're going to get this screen come up. There is already a file with the same name as clue. copy and replace, don't copy, copy but keep both files. You need to copy and replace it. You need to replace the original with the crack. So copy and replace it. After you've done that, that's it. You're done. Close the crack, and that's it. Right. Sometimes as well, in some games, 
it won't actually just be straight in here it'll be in a folder called binaries yeah but all you have to do is look for the exactly the same name as the one what the crack so whatever the cracks named look for the file in your program file so it's exactly the same as the crack and then replace it with that one and then you're done the cracks added everything's done you can unmount your drives you, you won't need it mounted on your drives um, and that's it basically it'll it'll run absolutely perfect um, and that's about all I can tell you so remember go to your top um, WinRAR file extract here delete all WinRAR files after you don't need them no more and then you just left with ISO and then just do what I've told you and you'll be and that's it that's absolutely it the game will play perfect